to think that I could have killed myself or, and to think what I could have put my, my friend through, really, doing something so drastic because I didn't know what I was doing and because I was so drunk. Hi, my name is Emily, so I'm here today to share my story with you um, about alcohol and to hopefully encourage, well, encourage you to get help because I needed help and I found there wasn't anybody to help me until I stumbled across this miracle help, which that's how I feel. It is a miracle. I feel that it has saved me a little bit because I feel like my life was, well, spiralling out of control, really. Um, I didn't know where to go or what to do. And I'm here to share my story today with you all, hopefully to help some of you or just one of you with your journey like it's helped me with my journey. Um, because without the help I've received now, I, th I feel like my life would have spiralled out of control because it certainly was spiralling out of control and I'm not sure if I would have still be here today um, or had a life. And to do with alcohol really, alcohol was always there in my life. It was always part of socialising, going out. It was always something that, you know, you did. You socialise with friends, you'd have a few drinks, then you'd drink some more. And, and until you couldn't drink anymore and then you'd end up being sick, really. Um, and as time went on, the, the drinking became a little bit different. Not so much binge drinking, but it became more of a regular thing. Um, maybe a half a bottle of wine a night or a bottle of wine a night. So it just it wasn't just socialising with friends it became more regular. Um, to the point of really, when um, if I had to spare five minutes, I wouldn't go and make myself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I'd go and open the fridge and have a glass of wine. And um, so if I was at home in the daytime, I'd have a couple of glasses of wine and then realise maybe I couldn't go and pick my kids up because I'd had too many glasses of wine, um, which obviously I look back now, it was a problem. But at the time, you don't think it's a problem. You think, Oh, it's only a couple of glasses of wine. Um, it's only half a bottle of wine. We can all say that. Oh, and then you realise you've had like maybe two bottles of wine, a brandy, a vodka, and you're drinking at home every day. Um, yeah, so I'd always drink with friends. And then when the pandemic hit, we still carried on drinking with friends um, online because we couldn't socialise. So we'd do a Zoom call and we'd all be drinking and playing games and it would get to the point where you couldn't drink anymore. One of us, you would just pass out or fall asleep in company, which was quite embarrassing because you wake up and everybody had gone. You were still sort of like online, everybody else had left it. Um, that one night became two nights a week. And, and then when we didn't do the, like the social thing on the Zoom and stuff like that, I'd find myself bored at home, just watching telly and I'd carry on drinking. I'd, I'd crack over another bottle of wine and sit there drinking on my own. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was a problem. It was just, that was it. You just said, oh, it's the pandemic, I'm at home, I'm not working, I haven't got to worry about it. And until we came out of the pandemic, when we could socialise again, and we all started going out, partying, drinking, it felt like you had a new lease of life. And it, almost like you could drink as much as you want because you were out, out of the house. So it was like, it was accepted that we were out. So yeah, let's drink more. Until one day, um, I had a little bit too much to drink, which I never thought I would ever say. And I was with a friend in a car, on a car journey, and I was completely drunk to the point that I was probably getting aggressive, very argumentative. Um, I didn't realise I'd become like that until I looked back and see all the times where I had had arguments with friends or at parties, and then realised that it was because I'd been drinking too much, that wasn't my character. Um, but this one night, we were in the car, and my friend was driving, they hadn't been drinking, and um, we were arguing, I can't remember what we were arguing about, to the point where I just had enough of the argument, and went, right, I'm, I've had enough of this argument, I'm going, and I opened the car door, and yeah, jumped out, stepped out of the car, a moving car, rolled down the road and woke up in hospital. Um, I didn't realise where I was or what had happened, uh, six stitches later in my head and a very cloudy head because I had no recollection of what had happened until my friend told me the story. Um, and I feel that I'm lucky to be sat here alive because it could have so totally gone the opposite direction, really. Um, 
to think that I could have killed myself or, and to think what I could have put my, my friend through, really, doing something so drastic because I didn't know what I was doing and because I was so drunk. Um, yeah, it's yeah, something I'm not proud of and very scared of. And without getting this help now, I probably wouldn't be sat here. So it was after that moment that I actually had to find something that would help me because I had tried to find help before, you know, just thinking, oh, I'm going to stop or speak to some people in the cell. You drink too much. Yeah, yeah, I don't drink too much. And you'd speak to people and say, right, I'm going to stop now. So I hadn't really thought about it being serious until this moment. And then I just was scouring the internet one night when I was at home and came across and came across this, I guess, lifesaver, something that um, I can actually say saved my life. So I, you know, I didn't think I had a problem with alcohol until this incident happened. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it, it scared me. I think it was such a scare, the fact that I could have actually killed myself, that I, I wanted a solution. You know, I didn't think I had a problem, but obviously something happens so big like that, you realise you have got a problem. So I started looking online to see if something could help, because I think I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed what had happened. I was embarrassed for my friends, what I'd put them through, and I was embarrassed for myself that I'd got in such a state that I didn't know where I was, what I'd done. Um, yeah, I was ashamed. So I certainly didn't want to be publicised and around everywhere. So I thought I'd look online and came across Clear Minds online, um, the hypnotherapy. So yeah, it was something I started reading and thought I'd try it. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I can't express how it's worked for me, it's changed my life around. That, okay, when you're drinking, you know, you look back and you realise you had, you were bloated or you'd put on the extra weight or you were tired. Uh, you know, you lost a little bit of control of your life and yourself, a little bit of yourself sort of dies as well when you're drinking that you didn't realise. And now I feel like initially, when I first came across Clear Minds, I was just gonna cut down on alcohol. I thought, right, okay, if I can just cut down and limit myself just to social drinking with friends, but just, just a little bit, not binge drinking, then I thought that would help. But it actually, you know, I feel like I don't even want to drink alcohol anymore. I can go out with friends and be happy just not drinking, and I can still have fun, I still laugh. I feel like I'm better person than me, and I feel a lot healthier. You know, my skin's better, my hair's better, all the things you know, that with unhealthiness that you think, you know, your weight, you look back at photos and I can actually look back at photos and I don't recognise myself. And especially the party photos when we were drinking all of us together. Now I just look at myself and I look happier in the photos. Uh, and that's all thanks to the Clear Minds Hypnotherapy. For me, I can honestly say it, it has actually saved my life. That something, you know, it's, it's amazing what it's done for me and I hope that it can do the same you know, for others. You know, Clear Minds has made me a better version of myself really.